Hey everybody out there in the land of YouTube, this is Annette Dion. I'm the host and founder of the Psychic News Network. I hope you're doing great. Um, pre-recording this Monday night, it's quarter to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and I hope you had a great weekend. I encourage you all to please check out Church of Spirituality if you need spiritual inspiration, and who doesn't need spiritual inspiration? Uh, there's that. You're missing some good stuff if you're not watching that. Anyway, it's free. I am, uh, pleased that we did not lose our democracy. I am cautiously optimistic that we have opened a door of opportunity to really be involved in our democracy and see, see Abe Lincoln behind me. <laughs> I'm channeling Abe. We have an opportunity to dive in to our democracy, to stop the deluge of cruelty, 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 hatred, vitriol, evil. We have an opportunity to stop it so i like to say i have not we've not yet begun to fight and i really do feel that i really do feel like it's 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 time to you know we <laughs> we had a we had a democracy party a grassroots of democracy on saturday that was fun it was a blue party i wore a blue shirt not this blue shirt a different one and uh, we we were all you know patriotic colors, and that was good. It was fun. So we had a little reprise, and we emerged fortified, like my vision board said. Voting rights are human rights. I know that the house uh, hangs in the balance as I speak. It's uh, November fourteenth, Monday, November fourteenth, and uh, the house still hangs in the balance. But I'm not. I'm not overly concerned about that since we took the Senate. I'm more, <laughs> believe it or not, the thing that disturbs me the most is Carrie Lake. Not that she's going to win, but just, that's what I have my eye on the most. And uh, just for fun, let's check the pendulum. I don't think Carrie Lake is going to win. And I do know that she's going to cause a ruckus. And... The fear that we had about that kind of thing, all the, you know, trepidation we had around the elections, just take a moment and say a little, you know, positive thought or prayer of gratitude that we did not have violence. That was, that was worrisome. That was worrisome. I feel like Carrie Lake um, has, you know, for entertainment purposes only, not very peaceful plans for, if she, you know, when she... I just said when. When she loses. Is Carrie Lake going to lose? Yes. I get, I'm picking up yes. Carrie Lake is going to lose. Is Carrie Lake going to cause a ruckus when she loses? Oh, it's kind of going around in a, in, a, in a circle. Is she going to cause a ruckus when she loses? It's yet to be determined. Too many things in play. Um... We haven't seen a lot of that. We know that it's going to happen, but we haven't seen a lot of belligerent uh, fighting back. You know, there's some miracles happening because Mastriano conceded thus far. So we're going to take a look at the cards. Before we dive in, um, there's a couple things I want to mention in that are in news, in the news, but we're not hearing a lot about these things and one you know i just want to say that a few weeks ago there was a shooting at a school in st louis and people died and it was horrifying and we were all horrified and i would venture to say that of those of you watching there's a certain percentage that doesn't even know that that happened and that's not your fault um, and today, this morning, as the news was on, the breaking news came in that there was a shooter, uh, active shooter 
at the University of Virginia and three people were dead and they were still looking for the active shooter. And the last, the St. Louis shooting really struck me as a tipping point that we had gotten to the point where we have become numb. And I just want to encourage everyone, don't become numb. Because they flipped right to the news after that. It was kind of like a passing thought. And it was very disturbing to me. We really have to work on gun control measures and pray for those poor people going into the holidays who have had their loved ones brutally massacred. And I'm not being a Debbie Downer. I'm just... We got to face realities, right? And the Republicans don't want any gun controls at all. We remember after Uvalde, Governor Abbott, who doesn't deserve to be called governor and for entertainment purposes only, that was all, you know, that he set it up to win, as did Ron DeSantis set it up to win. Greg Abbott, right after Uvalde, this heinous situation, went to an NRA convention hours later. So that's what we need to fight about and fight for. And there is a Gen Zer, Maxwell, forget his last name, 25 years old, that did get elected. I have to look up what office he got elected for. You don't have to tell me, I, I just don't have it in front of me. Um, but anyway, he's gonna be, a deciding factor as to what happens around gun violence. It's not okay. And it's, it's, it just really struck me this morning, like, wow, they just let that kind of breeze in. Oh, there's an active shooter in the University of, of, of Virginia. And um, so I'm gonna actually start with cards about whether we will see gun reform, gun control reform. Um, don't get me wrong, I am thrilled that we are where we are. I am thrilled that the last week's uh, lunar eclipse, full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, didn't mean we were having a transformation for the worst. And we were talking about that. We were talking about it could be a transformation for the better. We don't always have to be negative, right? <clears throat> And one more thing that we have to pray about is um, the women in Iran. Uh, the Iranian government has gone completely rogue and is promising to execute women um, that simply, you know, want their rights and, and to, to, to not wear a scarf, you know, just to put it very simply. And uh, the Iranian government is not allowing any media in. so. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Um, and, you know, but for the grace of God, I mean, and we're not having to deal with that. So no complaining, anybody. <laughs> Let's take a look at um, who I have. The death card came up. <clears throat> As I was talking about transformation, the death card means massive transformation in America. So I, I really, I really know we take a lot for granted in this country. And I really know after having had the big orange Cheeto, and we'll look at him in office for as long as he was, and that he won't go away, uh, we realized what we had, what we stood to lose. And uh, despite all the voting restriction and the gerrymandering and the redistricting and the, the, the armed people at the polls, I don't know if I'd go into a poll if there was an armed person with an AR-15 standing there, um, it, you know, it, it's been hard, but we made it through. So this is, it's a big deal. So we're going to look at gun reform. Will it happen? You know, it's just, it's a weekly event. It's a weekly occurrence. I hope you had a good weekend. I do have other announcements about what's going on. This this coming Saturday, I am having a pendulum class and that's kind of like by request, upon request. So I must be doing a terrible job promoting it because I only have a couple people signed up and it won't happen unless I have minimum of six people. Um, we'll just postpone it. 
So please, if you'd like to take the pendulum class, go to psychicanetdion.com and sign up. It's Saturday, 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern time, which it's a little bit longer than I usually do. I usually just do 90 minutes. Okay, gun reform. Wow, this is like, wow. I mentioned last week that the midterms, the way that the midterms unfolded shifted not just the United States, but the world went, psh, it shifted. And, and the world card is coming up. I'm using my um, foods deck tonight. The world card is coming up. And that brings to mind, even though I'm reading on gun control, the world, <laughs> the guides are telling me, the world has thought that the United States of America is nuts since Trump, especially since Trump, uh, shooting each other up. And, you know, so the world is watching. And we have to keep that in mind. The world is watching. There's a, an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. And I'm going to check the pendulum on this, too, because I'm asking about gun controls in the United States. Um, and when I see the world card, I'm actually seeing the world coming to a place of less violence, not more. So that's good news. And the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles both came up. We will have a new vision for nonviolence. And I feel really like this sense of exhilaration and this hope around that. The young people, it's going to be their world. Before you know it, you know how fast time goes. Gen Z, <laughs> said guru always says, you know, said guru's up there now. Um, I'll move him now. Uh, said guru always says, don't call yourselves Gen Z. <laughs> because it sounds like you're the last generation. You don't want to sign up for that. But I feel like the next election, the next midterms, it's going to be like all Gen Z. It's going to be, you know, the young people will be taken over. So I do see some uh, more energy than I expected going towards gun control. Things happen, you know, so much happens so fast that it was just a, a, a couple weeks ago that Paul Pelosi got, you know, unfortunately it was attacked by a terrorist, basically. And I do think that it made people stop and poor guy was like the sacrificial lamb. I mean, he's, I'm glad he's okay. I feel like it made more people stop and think than we realize. Um, just like January 6th did. It made more people stop and think than we realized. It, than, you know, and actually, it became evident, this election, the, these midterms. It became very evident. Okay, so let's take a look at... Um, well, let me tell you what the moon is in. The moon today has been in um, the sign of Leo all uh, since this morning. So, very fiery day. You probably might have been feeling that today. Um... If you're not feeling the fiery Leo energy, I'm just I'm compelled to say, move your body around, get outside, move, 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 and, and you'll feel it. Fiery, fiery energy. And we're in Scorpio. We're still in the sign of Scorpio. We're going to Sagittarius, which is always fun. <laughs> uh, next week. Gosh, time does fly. It's the end of 2022. Uh, okay, so... I know that everyone's hanging on the edge of their seats. I know it's awful. We don't want to say that we're hanging on the edge of our seats, but about a couple of things. Uh, I just got the Carrie Lake was not going to win. And when, you know, I asked the pendulum, is she going to cause a ruckus? It's kind of undecided right now. Uh, so the other thing that we're thinking about is I feel the DOJ moving in, moving in pretty heavily on Donald Trump. And, you know, he was, he was supposed to, comply with the request of the January 6th committee to come in. He was subpoenaed to come in and, and answer questions. And what, is, what does he do? It doesn't take a psychic to be able to predict what Donald Trump, Trump will do when he's in trouble with the law. Filed a freaking lawsuit. We're going to just take 
a look at three cards to see how that's going to go. <clears throat> it's unbelievable. It, 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 I mean, uh, it's just, it, whoever would have thought that somebody in the United States of America could get away with this many heinous crimes, and I know that he's, he said he's going to declare that he's going to run for the presidency tomorrow on the 15th, the 14th was the day that he sued the January 6th committee. That didn't go so well for uh, Mark Meadows. It didn't go so well for the guys that didn't show up. Well, look at Lindsey Graham, too. There's something that's on my mind about that. So stay tuned in a minute or two. So let's, uh, so this is a five of cups. He, Donald Trump knows that his fingerprints are all over the January 6th insurrection. In fact, he was considered one of the leaders in the sense that somebody introduced the idea of an insurrection to him and he glommed right onto it and he was in the know the whole entire time. And he knows that they have the receipts, they have the goods, the nine of swords, he's in a tight spot. I don't think he had fun at his daughter's wedding over the weekend, and his daughter didn't have a lot of fun. I remember reading that because people were asking me if the hurricane was going to hit Mar-a-Lago, and I got that it was. I just got that they'd have to change some things around, and then uh, later, you know, I found out, I just kind of read about it a little bit in, the, in some article in some magazine. I read about Tiffany's wedding, and I guess she was having a conniption fit because she couldn't have like the rehearsal dinner and all the so their plans got disrupted it's pretty interesting that a hurricane headed straight you know towards mar-a-lago on the weekend of the wedding that was planned and through all this tumult that trump is is going through it wasn't a fun time can we just say that and oh my gosh these cards are terrible trump is really missing out on you know a, an opportunity to make it a little better for himself but every time he lets that cup pass he lets that up you know just an opportunity to make it a little better for himself and he actually makes it worse and he's out on his you know truth social which i hate the name of his whatever it is he's out there on his truth social tweeting uh or truthing or whatever the heck they call it uh, about um 30 40 times a day can you imagine putting up like 30 or 40 sort of like tweets or posts a day i don't know i don't do that do you guys do that does anybody out there tweet or post that many times a day it's like get a life don't you have a life don't you have something to do my goodness <laughs> give it a rest The, when the, I tune into him, the guides are showing, it's interesting, it's like, the guides are showing me like a shrinking, I'm trying to think of what this would be like, before somebody passes out, or, you know, or maybe has a seizure or something, I don't know, uh, but I'm, but there's, it might be a seizure, you know, things start closing in, I've not, well, fortunately never had that happen to me, but some kind of, they're just showing me the walls, his brain, you know, kind of closing in. I don't know if that's a physical, like a, I mean, because I'm saying like a seizure or a stroke kind of a thing. That's interesting. I just want to see, am I picking up on a health, a health condition? Am I picking up on, because I'm just thinking that it's the way that his, his, like, thinking scene is but i feel more like this is is am, is this indicating a physical this is indicating a physical issue with his brain and his thinking am i picking up on the potential for a for a stroke no it's not that am i picking up on where on how his brain feels it's not just that. It's not just that. Is Donald Trump going to have a health episode? Is that what I'm picking up on? Oh yeah, that's really strong. I'm picking up on some kind of a health episode. The walls are caving in on him. 
let's take a look at whether the DOJ will indict him this week. Those cards were terrible. Those cards for him were terrible. Just awful. Let's see what the what it says about the DOJ. <laughs> is it next week is Thanksgiving? Next week is Thanksgiving. And I do a Church of Spirituality service on Thanksgiving, so I hope you can join me. It'll probably be at noon, Eastern Time. Live. Put that on your schedule. And also, just speaking of that, um, I ventured into the Thousand Gratitude Challenge that my teacher who made these signs uh, used to do that every year. Between now and Thanksgiving, write a thousand things that you're grateful for. <laughs> Let me know if you want to join me in that. It's kind of fun, but it's very challenging because I only have like a week, a little more than a week. This is a DOJ and Trump. Yes, it's coming. It's definitely coming. The Nine of Pentacles is usually when I'm asking about legal issues, the Nine of Pentacles indicates a lot of uh, evidence. Cards mean different things to different people, and I just read them intuitively, mostly, even though I know the meanings, which is how you read cards anyway. Um, I'm going to have a class available soon. Anyway, the DOJ. Yeah. Yeah, this card is full. It's like full to the brim with information. And they are moving in. And let's see if we can get a time frame. Last week I was saying this week. Will we be hearing from the Department of Justice this week about Trump? It's already given me a yes. It's already given me a yes. Is Merrick Garland ready this week to indict Trump? I don't think it's an indictment, but I do think we're going to hear from the DOJ this week. Okay. Is the DOJ going to come back at Trump with something that's very devastating to Trump? Yeah, I think it's the response... He's not right. He's he's not right in the mind. I mean, he doesn't even, he's not even acknowledging that he, his candidates lost. The people that he was out there endorsing at his rallies, they, well, J.D. Vance won, but, you know, I mentioned before that I have question marks around certain races. Uh, I don't feel, for entertainment purposes only, I don't feel that Ron Johnson won in Wisconsin. I don't feel that, um... I don't feel that Abbott won the governorship in Texas. And as you know, I definitely don't feel DeSantis won in Florida. I know they're governors, but just, just making the point. I don't feel like Brian Kemp won. You know, I mean, legitimately, they, they, they fixed the system so that they would win. And it will come out. I do see that it's going to come out. They fixed the system so that they would win. Ron DeSantis won in what, like 45 minutes or something. Remember when Trump came out on the, the evening of November 8th, 2020? And it was, I'll never forget that. Frankly, we did win this election. I'm like, that's, they might have counted an eighth of the ballots. That's called fascism. Uh, all right. So the DOJ is going to, they're going to move on something this week. I, I really do get that. So it may be, yeah, they're going to move on something this week. There's so many things they can move on, which makes it hard to narrow it down. Yeah, it's that bad. Arrest him. Uh, okay. I don't even know what to narrow it down to. The, well, the DOJ move on uh on the top secret documents this week it looks like the top secret documents i'm getting a strong yes on that will it be some kind of a um some kind of a like a an intense legal paper yeah i'm getting that he's going to be um it's going to be demanded that he testify and it feels like about the documents Oh, trusty pendulum. Well, the demands from the DOJ this week come for Donald Trump because of the top secret documents. I'm getting a yes on that. Okie dokie. We shall see. 
And I just saw the justice card right there, sitting there at the bottom of the pile, just to say, look at, the, look at me, look at me, look at me, justice. Yep, that's it. Temperance. Sometimes the cards at the bottom are just kind of, they, they just kind of jump out. So temperance is about wait, just wait. And as we wait, let's wait in faith. See my faith sign? <laughs> it's my, my wall, my wall of fame here. Faith, wait in faith, wait in faith. Remember, remember, okay, let's think about this. Remember when we were all freaked out that Trump would get four more years? Remember how freaked out we were? How freaked out were we? People were losing sleep over it. You remember how freaked out we were a week ago? Oh my gosh, people were just like, how do I calm down? How do I calm down? How do I calm down? We made it. The Republicans didn't have their stupid red wave, red tsunami. Boy, were they going on about it. It's gotten to the point, honestly, it's gotten to the point where uh, uh, energetically, uh, you know, the mainstream news is starting to take on this, this air, this feel of the National Enquirer. In a little bit of a way, in a little bit of a way, there's a little, little, powdering, a little dusting of that kind of energy on the mainstream news right now. Which is why I get my news from Midas Touch. No, I'm still watching MSNBC. I'm still checking in on MSNBC. I don't, I cannot stand CNN anymore because they get these people in there that are like CNN correspondents and they're all, all like MAGA. Can't handle it. It's too bad because I, you know, some of the anchors that I like, I just won't even listen to. I like Jim Acosta a lot. I like, um, I like Anderson Cooper. Anyway, I'm just saying it's, they ruin it. They ruin it for themselves. So we were all freaking out and it all worked out. And for that matter, January 6th, oh my God, we're all trembling. We're all like, this is it. It's over. The world's over. Our country is done. We made it through. So if you don't have faith, by now, I don't know if you'll ever have faith. So keep the faith, okay? Keep the faith. Merrick Garland is not going to let this country, especially after the midterms, he's not going to let this country down by not, like, prosecuting Donald Trump. It's just not going to happen. So get it out of your mind and have faith, okay? And... I want to know if anybody noticed that the energy of Putin has shifted since the midterms. I noticed it right away. And has anyone noticed too, the energy coming from China has shifted because Joe Biden's over there in Indonesia talking to G. They had a three hour meeting. Let us be in the glory hallelujah thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to just ask in general, um, okay, I just actually just want to know, I want to know if Ron Johnson really beat Mandela Barnes. I'm going to ask the cards what they have to say about that. Did Ron Johnson really beat Mandela Barnes? Mandela Barnes, great candidate. And I don't want to hear all this that I hear on the news. Well, maybe, maybe Mandela Barnes was too progressive. What's wrong with progressive people? What's wrong with progressive? You have a problem with that? And, and, and don't even get me started. I'm talking to myself right now. But I know you're out there. I can, I can feel you. After I post the video, I'll just kind of see what you have to say. Don't even get me started about some of this, you know, oh, well, you know, we're too... We're too leftist. We're too progressive. We're too this. We're too that. It's like... You talking about but the one that gets me the most and the mainstream news is actually using these this terminology well first of all the radical left oh I want democracy is there a problem with that you have to call me the radical left the one that gets to me the most more than that is wokeness so, you know, beware of people just throwing out these terms that become part of the mainstream t terminology. You have to be anti-woke. 
Does woke mean that you're not racist? That you don't discriminate? Does woke mean that you like to read books? Does woke mean that you accept people the way that they are for who they are? Does woke mean you want to see this earth saved for future generations and our generations? Does woke mean that you care about one another? Does woke mean that you believe in a separation of church and state? Does woke mean that you believe that people have a right to live their lives as they see fit? Especially the good people? Does woke mean that you believe that women should have rights and bodily autonomy? Does woke mean that you don't think that there should be a state official or a government federal official uh, telling a, a woman that has a conversation between herself and her OBGYN what to do with her body? Is that woke? If you think that that's not appropriate, is that woke? Well, if, that, if all that is woke, then we're pretty woke here. <sighs> my, nostrils are, my nostrils are flaring. My Taurus moon is coming out. Anyway. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm asking about, did Ron Johnson really win over Mandela Barnes? And I have the death card, which indicates Ron Johnson shut it down. For entertainment purposes only, this channel is based on my psychic impressions, which I call psychic facts. But that's just, I just coined that phrase. Just me. Ron Johnson. Mandela Barnes has a pretty good idea of what went on. He's hanging on. These people that didn't win, like Tim Ryan and Mandela Barnes, and, and I feel like, you know, there's something fishy around J.D. Vance. I've smelled that for a long time now. Uh, they know what's going on, and they will continue to fight for America and fight for democracy. They're not going back to sleep, and they will be examples to the rest of us that we need to do the same. We got, you know, our foot is in the door. We, they, they tried to close the door on democracy. These MAGA Republicans, heinous people. Ted Cruz was even up there. On, he was on Fox News saying, "Oh, these crazy leftists, despicable." I don't know what he said for descriptive words. I don't really need to recount it, but you get the idea. They had a plan, and the young people voted, and the women voted for the ones, the, the leftists with the plan, these lowlifes. And it's like, is there something wrong with having a plan? So we have, it's like the door to keep our democracy opened. And we got our foot in, and they're going to try to close it, right? They're going to try to slam the door on our foot. But that ain't going to happen. Because we are pretty inspired now by how, by, how, by how strong we have proven our democracy to be. Even though we just are scraping by by the skin of our teeth through all the voter suppression. We're in. We're in. We're not going anywhere. My group, Grassroots of Democracy, is still going to meet. We're going to take a week off for Thanksgiving and a week off for Christmas, but that's it. We're not going away. We're not going to sit pretty and be like, oh, well, we're good. We're good. We can just kind of hang out and just do our nails. Nope. We're in this for the duration of however long we're here. You know, there are people that are in their 90s that still, still get out and vote. Where are we? Uh, okay. Let's see. So Putin is falling apart. Trump and the MAGA Republicans, they're falling apart. And Elon Musk is falling apart. And China is succumbing to some pressure. And I, I keep being reminded, the next time I do a video, I'm going to read it to you again. Of a couple months ago, 
my guides gave me the download. There's a couple things, a few things the guides gave me a download on that I just have been able to use to stand by. I'm gonna tell you what they are. One, one I was walking in February of 20, this is a while ago, 2019. I think that's when Trump was about to be impeached. And I've told some of you the story already. And I was walking, I was very distraught about our democracy. And I looked up in the sky at that moment when I was just like, oh, what's gonna happen to our democracy? And, and out of nowhere, a bald eagle flew towards me right over my head. And I had never seen a bald eagle in the wild ever before. It's not common for them to be in this region. That happened. And, you know, I keep getting signs that we're okay and that we're not alone. We're not going to lose our democracy. That was one. And, um, and another was when I got the download about Trump and why he ever came to be, what his sole contract was, to which I, I, I saw that his sole contract was, I definitely get that the Trump was Mussolini. And, and, I, and that was before I heard all the people calling him little Mussolini. Um, and he came back, he was heinous in that lifetime, he was heinous in this lifetime, but his punishment in this lifetime is that he never would get to experience love, real love, and that is the case. And I got that he was gonna, at the end, have no support at all. This was a couple of years ago. At the end, Trump would have, nobody would want him around, he would he would, you know, come to the end of his life isolated. For some reason, I saw him in a wheelchair and just done. No friends, no nothing, no love. And um, and then I got the download that I read here on my video, and I'll read it next time, I promise, about uh, this time around. is not like what the world was going through in World War II during that time of Hitler and all that. It's different now because the frequency on the planet is is higher. And the beings that are on the planet now are, you know, we, we go through this state, these, this evolution and as souls. And we've evolved to a point where there's enough light. I know it's hard for you to believe this if you look at what's going on, but there's an explanation kind of for that too. It's part of the process. So, the light that is has it that's present now the high frequency energy is is too big for something like the holocaust to happen again i know in iran there's some horrible stuff happening well it's always been the case that this it's going to be somewhere but just looking at the big 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 picture and we will pray for for everybody who's in trouble um this time the light is winning. The light, you know, the light will really, will really win. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to Elon Musk. These people that have had a free ride for way too long, that are way out of balance, and they have no business being in positions of power, they're starting to sink big time. And I had said, uh, it's all connected. I had said that, um, that Putin's done, Putin's done by the end of this year. And people, it's November. The end of this year is next month. Um, I know it's hard for a psychic to predict things, but I always saw that NATO would be too big of a competitor. We're looking at Elon Musk. I've been coming on live so much, it's kind of so different to do a pre-recorded video um but i'll continue to do them too i'll do both it's more focused when i'm just you know just just me not reading the chat friday nights i'll probably keep as lives monday <laughs> kind of wait and see uh elon musk so elon musk he should have walked away from the deal 44 billion dollars for a social media company what was he thinking? I don't think it cost that much. I don't think it would have cost him that much. Did you ever think of that? 
he was caught uh, on some recording or a hot mic or something saying that it looks like he might go out of business. Like a few days after he started firing all those people. He's just gone rogue. He's just lost it. Elon Musk is not okay. There's a couple people in my mind that are not okay. Elon is one of them. Right now, what I'm picking up is Elon is trying to do a little bit of a smoke and mirror show to let his, you know, investors and stockholders uh, to, gosh, he's kind of like Trump. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. You know what I mean? It's just like, he's trying to hide it. He's trying to hide how bad it is Elon Musk is. It's just a matter of time before Twitter comes tumbling down. I did say a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, that I I don't see him running it. So let's ask the pendulum. Yeah, there's somebody else who's going to be running Twitter. Um, when I was on with Corey, I said that I saw a new Twitter, and I wanted to call it Twitter 2, like a new version of it. And it's the, the executives that got fired. Let's see. Is Okay, let's ask. Is Twitter going to fold? A lot of people use Twitter. I don't. I've never been drawn to Twitter. Is is uh, is Twitter going to fold? It's not going to fold. I think it will still exist. Is Elon Musk going to sell Twitter? He's going to sell it. He's he's not going to stay. He he he. I see Elon Musk selling Twitter. Will the uh, will the people he fired be invited back to the company? That looks like a yes. So he's going to sell it, and it's not going to be for forty four billion dollars. God no. Um, yeah. So I have the the Temperance and the the King of Pentacles is it's a new. I think somebody's going to pick it up. I think someone's going to take it and. And make it successful again. But they I don't get that they'll let Trump on. Oh, Trump. I actually want to p pick three more cards about the orange menace. <laughs> I got to get in touch with Andre at Astrology Alert. Tell him how much I liked that one. That one really stuck with me. The orange menace. One thing we can say for sure, it's been an interesting life thus far <laughs> there's never a dull moment and make sure you play and have a lot of fun too make some fun thanksgiving day plans okay or something or whatever uh i just want to see what's going to happen with trump this week i i, I just i'm so and I, I know i'm not alone in this so over seeing his ugly, evil face, his orange skin, and hearing his horrible voice. And I just, let's just wish him to go away. We don't want to see him in the media anymore. I don't mean, you know, like wish him dead. I just mean wish him to go away, to fade away. You know, if you watch SNL this weekend, I saw a couple of clips, pretty funny. He, Fox doesn't want, doesn't, and, and, and the New York Post having that picture of Trumpy Dumpty, man, it's just like, it turned, it turned on a dime. It's just like, all of a sudden he's done. And I mean it, he's done. He's done. Let's see. And we're celebrating. <laughs> Trump is done. We're celebrating. It's a brand new America. It's a brand new, we're looking at a brand new, it's just at the beginning phases. I know we didn't take everything, but the Democrats are, they, we won the Senate, okay? Democracy won the Senate. That's a big deal. It gives us a lot to work with. And the strength card, we are stronger. And like my guide said, this country will be stronger because of Trump. We don't learn our lessons easily. We learn our lessons through hardships and we become stronger through hardships. So there's always a reason for the hardships. We will see under Abe Lincoln, it says a new era. I got to move my chair. 
a new era standing the test of time i know you can't see it but that's my vision board for america that i made last week before the midterms happened so yeah that's great that's awesome 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 is there anything else that it was really really pressing let me see I'm going to pick three cards for the rest of the week and then I'll let you go. I don't want to make this video too short, too long because I just, it'd be nice to have a, some short ones up. It's not really that short, but anyway, three cards for the week. Um, well, let's just ask the pendulum. to see what it says we're not attached to the outcome we've, we've got some good stuff going and we do have to stay on our toes are the republicans going to take the house it looks like the republicans are going to take the house but you know the angels don't want to make it too easy on us we might go back to sleep we gotta stay woke remember <laughs> three cards to tie you over till i come on again but before i uh let you go i just want to remind you we have 20 on Tuesdays where we have been visualizing for months now for 20 minutes guided meditation. We visualize a healed America. It's working. And, um, and also after that, if people want to stay, I take 45 minutes to go over the sacred readings from Sunday. Come, it's good. It's all useful stuff. At least come to meditate with us. So this Oh, this is interesting. What we're going to see, I don't think the Democrats are going to take the House. I said I wasn't going to predict that, but um, but I just did. And by the time you see this, it might have already occurred that the Republicans took, took the House. Um, don't panic, okay? Don't panic. Kevin McCarthy is in really bad shape right now. And they're just a hot mess, the whole Republican Party. They, they don't know. They don't know which way to turn. They thought it was just going to be so easy and, oh, yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're taking over America. We're now an autocracy. Oh, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see about that. Um, so this week, don't miss, don't look at what's going on like, oh, no, everything's so bad. Surrender to the higher power because I see there's going to be a lot of things in suspension this coming week. Or, well, you know, it's coming a couple of days. A lot of things will be in suspension. And aren't we done with that? I mean, we don't want to be watching the news on all the what ifs, what ifs, what's going to happen, what if, what if, what if. That gets really old and that gets exhausting and that gets ridiculous. Um, right now, uh, Midas Touch is having their live show. Watch Midas Touch. Listen to Pod Bless, Pod Save America, Pod Bless America. You know, um, because. See, this guy, is, he's making a journey away from the swords. He's, 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 he's rowing through them. So, yeah, it's hard, but, you know, life is hard sometimes. So I have to celebrate the good times. So don't, don't feel like we missed an opportunity because we really didn't. Like I said, it's like we got our foot wedged in the door and we're in. And they can't close the door because it's one foot in the door. But then the rest of us are just going to push the door down. And save democracy. So, yeah, actually, this goes this way. Suspended, but doing good. Look at Lincoln right over my shoulder. I didn't even know I had him in a magazine. There he was. So, I don't know, he went through a lot, but this country really advanced because of Lincoln. And that's the way it is. This is Annette Dion at the PNN. Yeah, PNN, and uh, I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Thank you for subscribing if you already have. Please hit the thumbs up. I really want to get a bigger audience, and I'm counting on all of you. And please visit my website, PsychicAnnetteDion.com, and it's there that you can book an appointment. I have plenty of time if you want to get a reading. Uh, and there'll be classes posted in the very near future, like by Wednesday. Namaste. Love you all. Be good to yourself.